Since its first outing in 1969, the Offshore Technology Conference and Exhibition held annually in Houston, Texas, has focused on the development of offshore energy resources, primarily oil and gas, providing the right environment for interaction and exchange of latest technology. Nigeria, like most of the over 100 participating countries, has demonstrated capacity to play in the league. There's a lot of focus on uh, uh, on the more efficient solutions uh, uh, using uh, using uh, data and uh, robot technology. I think there's a lot of opportunities in Nigeria. However, with renewed commitment to open up a new frontier of movement into the Nigerian territory, Minister of State Petroleum Resources believes the time to reassess priorities is now. Very um, excited about some of the things that I saw in Nigerian stands. There are lots of Nigerian companies that are working very hard and we must begin to see how we give opportunities to those companies to grow. Time has come to begin to ask some very basic questions in country. How can we produce oil cheap? How can we address more the things that make people stay away from us, whether it's militancy, whether it's security. And this, experts say, is even more urgent considering developments in the sector. By the time they come in, exhibit, interact with our people, it's, it will create a better image for our country. We have fabrication yards in Nigeria that can fabricate vessels, fabricate most of the things required in the industry. Uh, with uh, the promotion of gas monetization projects uh, in Nigeria, the gas flare issues, you can say today that we have gone from 70% of flaring our gas to about 12% today. No doubt the Offshore Technology Conference provides a conducive environment for professional networking. But if Nigerians must begin to take the lead in investing in Nigeria, as emphasized by Minister Ibe Kachiku, then the proposal of an African OTC in Nigeria, participants here say, may just be the right step in that direction. In Houston, Texas, I'm Hawa Salihu Adama, NTA News.